yellow, everybody. Just reminding you to like and subscribe if you haven't done it already. Much appreciated. Peace. Yellow, everybody. Peace and happy new year. Well, the last time I can really say that before it gets old. But um, I got another un big unboxing for you. Uh, this is an all Moyu or Moyu slash Mofeng Jiaoshi boxing unboxing. Um, we have the Meilong Magnetic 4x4. This is something I've been wanting to try out for a while. The 5x5 I love. I absolutely love it. Um, between the size and the feel um, and the just the way it turns, it, it's, a, it's a great cube. For this, it's really, really hard to find a cube that's that size. It's a, on the smaller size and it's on the lighter end and that still performs well. Um, yeah, I, I just, that one is, is right on the edge where like there's the mini um, Zhilong from YJ, which is just almost a little too small. I think it's like 58 millimeters and, and it, like where the, the uh, May long comes in at 60 millimeters for a five by five, which is that's that's usually what a four by four comes in at. And so their four by four comes in, I think, at 59, uh, which again, it's all very pretty close, but uh, it you, you do notice the difference in your hands. So yeah, I just want, I wanted to give this one a shot. So let's let's open it up and see what's up. I did a, did a little bit of cheating in my last video. Just, I couldn't wait to open it with all the cubes and everything. So I had it's a pre setup where this is actually you know just out of the box. The only thing I've done is taken the plastic off, so you don't have to waste time with that. But these are not lube, no setup, no nothing. Um, so right away, my opinion of this is actually very good. Um, this is kind of what I was hoping for. Is this very light? Um, very, very light plastic where you can kind of just feel how, um, how do I explain it? How, how, uh, how simple it is to turn and everything. Like I, I really appreciate the May Long series for being, being so small and light and, and just very compact and it's really what I look for in a puzzle. So th this is a big winner. Um, let's try the corner cutting. So we have line to line, a little over. Oh, no problem. So for a big cube, that's actually pretty good. Um, just over line to line is about where it maxes out. And again, that's that stock tension. So when you you could loosen it, you can also lube it. When you have lube, it'll also, it'll definitely slide a little easier once it's not so like grippy from the, the plastic touching. Um, but yeah, right out of the box, my uh, opinion is actually pretty good at this thing. Um, I know this this cube's been around for a while, but something I've been wanting to try out. I I mean their their five x five, the Meilong five x five, because it just feels so nice in your hands. I, I have the Moyu Aosu WRM. I have the MGC five x five. I have um, I, that might be it for five x fives. But yeah, the 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 May Long is still my favorite, and so I'm gonna. Once I set this up, I have a feeling this is gonna be my favorite as well. Um, it's definitely sandy out of the box, but I I definitely also think that the sandy feeling comes from the matte plastic rubbing against each other. I mean, you can feel the plastic rubbing, and once you once that lube hat is in there, it's not that won't be a factor, but. Also, I wanted to point out that like, if this was UV coated or glossy plastic, I don't think it would be as as sandy because of what I've noticed is that the UV coated or glossy plastic glides against itself really well. It doesn't, um, it doesn't have that sandpaper feel, which I think that's just a texture thing. So, um, but again, once you lube it, all that goes away anyway. So yeah, this so far, um, I mean, this thing turns just beautifully. I mean, really can't, can't say anything bad about it. The magnets are, are just about right. The inner ones are just, just stronger than the outers. Um, yeah, you can, I haven't done any adjustments. So this is just like factory. It might need to be loosened actually a little bit. It's a little tight, but um, yeah, so far, Great choice. This was 
I want to say like 12 to 15 dollars at the most um and yeah this is i'm gonna probably be mailing this so let's put the mail on off to the side real quick and we'll look at the accessory box pretty sure it comes with whatever mo you cubes comes with and that is wow it is literally just a screwdriver there's not any like compression cups or anything because it's just a spring in there i'm guessing so yeah, they just give you a, a solving guide or a manual and a screwdriver and the cube. But still, um, I will do maybe another one once I get a video, once I get this lubed up. But I I love it. And yes, I would recommend this, especially for the price. I You just feel like you can't go wrong. This is such a great cube for a budget price. And it keeps up with any of the other, other um, solid competitors at that range. Okay. Let's get to the, the actual heart of the puzzles here. So we got the YS3M standard. We have the Moyu WRM V9. This is the top of the line, ball core UV magic clothes um, version. And then we also have the bottom of the line, the standard Moyu WRM. And the reason I got these is because after getting the RS3M V5, I got the ball core UV and the standard version, and I was blown away at how the standard felt. It's light, it is on like 68 grams. I mean, it feels like nothing in your hands. It turns so effortless, effortlessly. Um, it is amazing. So it got me thinking, maybe the, the not so decked out versions of these, um, they have a little less tech in them and whatnot that are, and I looked it up and, the YS3M being a, a heavier cube, uh, the standard is a good 10 grams lighter. So I was just very curious, what is that gonna be like? So let's see, um, you get your, which is kind of outdated at this point, that world record, but whatever. Um, you get a, a nice Huaming uh, YS3M box. Let's see, accessory kit. This one has the compression cups, it has a whole solving guide, it has um, all of your standard MoU parts in there. It has one spare compression cup, it has an adjustment tool, and yeah, very standard for MoU. This one did not come with a stand, comes with a case, which I guess you gotta take it. Um, and again, I, I have a whole video on this for the MoU cases, but anyone still struggling with the MoU cases that are supposedly just impossible to open, just uh, line your fingers up with the way it curves. So if it curves up, put your finger pointing the, the same way as it curves, squeeze, and pull. And it always goes together the same way too, but... And so this is interesting because I've only used the ball core UV version of this. Um, and again, this one has that sandy feel because it's a matte coated cube. Um, but this is kind of what I was hoping for from the standard YS3M. The, the, ooh, this one's real loose out of the box where the, the Mofeng Jiaoshi cube was kind of tight. This one's very loose. Um, I'm guessing the corner cutting, like, I mean, that is like line to line the opposite way. I mean, that's like about as far as you could ever think to corner cut. And it does it and give it a little assistance. But yeah, but actually like 45 is nothing. Um, maybe once I can press it a little bit, it'll corner cut a little less. But so far this cube is amazing. Um, I just really wanted to give you guys the out of the box experience and out of the box the magnets feel good they're not adjustable but they are they feel you know they feel like they're proper um yeah this thing feels great and it is it's a good change in weight because that the ball core uv one is is a good 85 grams i think so this one being 10 grams lighter, it's, it's a good choice. Um, it's a good option, at least, if, you, if you're looking for something different. Uh, so yeah, this one didn't come with a whole lot. It comes with the compression settings and whatnot to change. Uh, and your screwdriver, 
So you see it has the blue compression cup, um, just standard spring dual adjustment. Um, oh, it's interesting. It comes three clicks um, compressed, um, but usually I actually use most of my cubes uh, on zero compression with just uh, a little bit tighter tension. I don't know why, but I find that really works well for me. Um, I think I, I like that it always gives me a chance to slightly compress the cube more if I want. But yeah, the YS3M, standard, very affordable, comes in at like, I think it's $15, $17, something like that. Don't quote me on that, I'm not, not looking these up as we go, I'm just kind of going off of whatever my memory serves, but great cube, I love it. I can't wait to lube these, that's why I say I'll have to do another video with, or actually lube them up and, and give you a proper idea of how they feel once they're broken and everything, but this cube is amazing. Um, there's I, not a not anything I can complain about, like so the corner cutting is great, the turning feels, feels great. Um, I mean, it's it's basic. It's the, the standard. It's the base the base model, and that's kind of what you have to expect from it. Um, it's just kind of good out of the box, and that's what I was hoping for. Um, this one, I mean, you can see even like, the magnets will finish your turn for you, but they're not so strong that they're like pushing the cube in, to turn. Um, feels very um, kind of like squishy and springy and like i said they, the standard the, the ball core uv version was very like rigid and, and stable and so this is kind of a good you know duality to that it has the opposite feels a little bit more it has that stability but it, it still give, offers you a little bit more flexibility if you want to so that's my take on the ys3m standard uh, i love it can't wait to cube with it more All right, next we're moving on. Let's do the WRM V9 standard. So again, I haven't really opened these. All I've done is taking the plastic off so you don't have to watch me do that. But we have the standard accessory box. Oh, so there's our spare compression cup. It's the exact same thing as the YS3M. It has an extra compression cup, it has a compression tool and your screwdriver and a booklet pamphlet on um, solving the cube I'm guessing so cube same box let's see I'm very curious on how these will compare in feeling because essentially on paper they're very similar I mean they're you know magnets only from piece to piece not center not core magnets they are just dual adjust a dual adjustment for compression tension um, but but yeah this one definitely has oh wow oh wow yeah this one can corner cut from e anywhere like that's the that's the two lines I mean, if it, if you over rotate it and try and corner cut it, it'll just go the opposite direction, which is awesome. Like I can't, I literally can't get it to not corner cut. There we go. Went the other way, but, um, reverse goes over, over 45. Man. I have a feeling then if this cube is this loose and this wild as the standard, this is, needs to be lubed and tightened slightly. But if, if this is as it is out of the box, I have a feeling the uh, ball core UV one, the magic clothes, is going to be outrageous. Um, yeah, we did accessory box, same thing as the Y3M. Yeah, there's really not much else to say about this one. Same, same dual compression system. Um, see, interesting how this one comes set on zero compression 
where the YS3M came compressed th three clicks. Um, didn't expect that. So I think that's why at my other cubes, I ended up setting them on zero compression is because I just tightened the tension setting. And then I was like, oh, I like how this feels. But um, yeah, there's really not much more to say about this one. It's much more, it's a little less stable feeling than the YS3M standard. Um, I said corner cuts better slightly. I mean, they both, they, they're both very good. Um, I'm sure one, again, once you get them lubed to where they, there the pieces slide and don't make such friction with each other. I'm sure it'll corner, corner cut even better, but yeah, this thing is, um, is great. Yeah, this, I had, a, I'd kind of gotten over the whole matte plastic standard edition and I just figured why not, why wouldn't you always go for the, the highest end, you know, if you're going to get a cube, why not get the good one? But, um, there's some things I like about these and it's they're just it's very user friendly i mean like right out of the box it is pretty ready to go i mean obviously it could use some lube it can use some a lot of things but but it's it's also like i could i could absolutely just go ahead and cube with this right now um and that's where i have a feeling that our next one might be a little bit too fast. I mean, every review I've heard about the the WRM V9 is that the ball core UV edition is that it with the repelling edge magnets and everything, which here we go. Magic close. And I realize I'm a little late to the party with these. I know these were released technically last year and everything, but with the holidays and everything, they got busy, and this is when I was able to finally get them and do a video. So, there's your Magic Clothes Edition. Woo! Let's see. I'm guessing it's going to be the same accessory box. <gasps> Woo! Wish I had like a shing effect going on. I'm not, not that big into editing yet, so we'll see. But... Same thing, compression cup, uh, compression tool, and a screwdriver, and a pamphlet. Let's see. So, again, this one I, I've heard, all I've heard is that, and this is why I bought the Pi Cube Standard Edition. Oh, whoa. Uh, is because I heard this was a little bit fast, a little bit hard to control out of the box. And, my gosh, it was like... This one, I mean, look at that. All I do is start the turn and it, it turns the rest of the turn for me. That is, that is actually impressive. Um, I mean, yeah, I had a feeling corner cutting would be no problem on this one. Um, that is, I mean, it's hard to even, it's funny, like I, I can't even hardly get it to sit at 45 degrees because if I do it, it self corrects. And that's those, that's the corner decor magnets working in conjunction with the edge repelling magnets. Because now instead of just having corner decor magnets holding these in place, when you turn, this edge magnet comes over a, the corner magnet, which is the opposite, and repels it and pushes, pushes the top layer up which gets it, why it spins so easily and freely. And I mean, that in the maglev, there's no resistance or tension from the springs. Um, yeah, I mean, you can, whew. You can do like a U3, almost a U4 on these. Dang, wow. I mean, this is one where you definitely have to break it in. You're going to have to lube and play around with this and tension a little bit because I could see easily, like, those, those, uh, where I would usually do a double, you know, double kick for a, an M2. I mean, one, one flick will almost give you a, oh my God, it almost gives us an M4. So, 
yeah, you just, I could see overshooting a lot on this cube. So that, that's a big warning to people who are not looking for something too crazy. Um, I'm even on the newer end of the spectrum of cubing. I mean, I've only been cubing about a year or so. So that's one of the reasons I took everyone's, I heeded their warning when they said, you know, this cube is fast and you might want to get this, the Pi Cube Edition because it, um, it's a little slower, takes out some of the factors that make this thing so fast. But I, um, I am looking forward to, to lubing this thing up and slowing it down a bit and seeing if I can't control because if you can control this, this is a, an amazing feeling cube. And I can't see if this is fast how fast is the super way long and i yeah i just i can't imagine how much better the super way long can be besides it having the adjustable magnets i mean and the 20 20 magnet core um this thing is pretty amazing just go to do a quick like here's a quick u-turn and it did a u2 instead of like i mean i i can't even turn that layer back fast enough to stop it from doing a u2 well, i guess i can it's gotta be really quick but if you do it any slower then you end up getting, getting the wrong setup so yeah this will take some setup it'll take some break in whatnot but um definitely you know, when people say it's fast, they're not kidding. I mean, it, it like I said, it seriously turns on its own. Um, it's got a lot of stuff going on inside of it. And right now it's actually, I believe it was on sale. Um, I got this, usually it's 42 or 43.99 or whatever. And I got it on sale at the cubicle for 33.99. That was actually what got me to purchase it was because with the um, Super Waylong coming out and the 20 magnet core version of this, I think that this is going to be on sale a little bit. So if you guys are interested, check it out because for $33 or whatever, this is a steal. And like I said, with a little lube and a little setup, I think this is very manageable. But um, like I said, just remember it's fast. And if you don't want something fast, there's also definitely cheaper and easier cubes to do. But if you're something that someone that's really you know pretty good and looking for the next best thing i would say especially for the price this is man can't get can't beat this so you guys have a amazing new year and uh i really wanted to do this unboxing just so i could open all my cubes um these have been sitting here and i was like man i really need to need to do a video if i'm gonna open these and so now I get to play with them. So I'll hopefully do more and I'll let you guys know what I, what I think about them in the future. But so far, that's all I got for you. Peace. Happy New Year. Take care. This is just a standard WRMV9, lightning fast. Like I said, if you want the, the, the decked out version, be prepared because that thing is lightning. Bye everybody.